And we get set for our third match as we await the entrance to the ring. Nine matches for you. the music They're like American boxing where they pick whatever song some of the guys pick their own music and some of the guys have it provided by the uh, association most of the guys pick their own songs there's Satsu Nakano Tatsu Nakano against Hiromitsu Kanahara we're having a look at Kanahara right now on the blue corner deadliest baby faces in the game. I gotta tell you, he's got a, a German suplex that will knock your feet out. One of the most feared. When he gets behind you and takes you over, look out, you're in big trouble. The other thing with Elvis is, I've watched this guy a number of times. This guy can take more punishment than anybody I've ever seen. In fact, it almost seems you gotta hurt him before you wake him up. Uh, he starts slow, but he just comes on and on. He exhausts a lot of people just because he's that hard to put away. You hurt yourself hurting him, and he waits you out, and wins more fights than he loses. So he's got the sideburns to match Elvis. But we know this Nakano, this Elvis, is definitely a lot. Little bit different. You're gonna find out in a little while. You'll see, I'm sure, he never disappoints. His fights are always exciting. Yeah, there is Kanahara. 24 years of age, 5 foot 11, 200 pounds. He is a youngster. Yeah, relatively uh, young against uh, Nakano, who's the expert. 29 years of age, 5 foot 9, 215 pounds. So weight not a big factor here, but as we've seen time and time again, weight is not always not always a major a, factor. Not always the advantage. You have two Japanese here, though, who have different styles. Nakano, he is the pure wrestler, although I've seen him use kicks and knees, and he understands that he prefers to be a wrestler. He likes to get people down. He likes to do the suplexes. He likes the submission holds. He will generally revert to wrestling to win his matches. Kanehara, on the other hand, well-versed in all the martial arts. I know the, he's done karate. He's done judo. He's done aikido. He's done every form of that. So you'll see him try to do a lot more kicking and striking. You've got the hitter against the wrestler here. What was the referee checking for before they start each fight? He just checks to make sure that the pads are in place, that the, uh, that the particularly with the pads, because these guys are so big and so strong, if they hit with, with a leg that doesn't have that padding on, they could actually, you know, kill a guy. So that's the major thing he's worried about, the knee pads and the, uh, and the shin guards. A brisk pace to start this one. Well, both these guys are, are in good shape. I've seen both these guys uh, go a long time. They never seem to slow down. Nakano, on the other hand, gets stronger as he goes on. So this will be interesting. The longer this fight goes, the more uh, I would give Nakano the, uh, the nod because uh, he's been around. He knows how to survive. Kanehara, on the other hand, would like to put this guy out fast. But Nakano, he's, he's in a perfect position there. He's using that one hand to protect one side of his face. And he's protecting, yeah, he's protecting his head, and he's got the ankle as well. Oh, oh nice, nice kick. Kick to the midsection. Nice kick to the head. That might wake Nakano up. He's got to have his bell rung before he answers the, uh, the telephone. I've noticed that about him many times. And by the way, that kick on the ground is perfectly legal. As soon as you're trying to get up, you pick up even one hand off the ground, the other guy's allowed to kick you anywhere, to the head or whatever. It's like the real street fight. You knock your guy down in the street, you don't want him to get up. You see the guy getting up, you nail him. As I said, this fight imitates the street fight, but it changes the score. 
Oh, he just took a nice shot to the head and Nakano pulled his leg out from under him. Some blood from the nose of Nakano. Nakano and Kanahara have been a lot more active. They've used a combination of the boxing and the kick. Right. But so far, uh, Nakano still taking it slow, because I've seen this guy before. He's, he's got to get stung a couple more times before he comes after him. And, and really, uh, with, with the exception of that one slap to the face, I don't think Kanahara has hurt him with any of those kicks yet. Do they have trainers or mentors in their corners, uh, maybe giving them any kind of instructions, or is it every no, man for himself? It's, it's your, for yourself. If you look, there's nobody in their corner. There's nobody who can throw in the towel for you. It's all your fight. The only guy who could possibly protect you is the referee or the doctor. There is a doctor at ringside. But uh, nobody in your corner. It's all your fight. Let's get a face lock on him, and Kanihara will escape. He'll lose the point. But there was the first uh, telling move where he got a, that face lock on him. Kanehara reached up, you couldn't see it on the screen, but he touched the rope. That enables you to fight on. I think of the ropes as sanctuary. You're not retreating, you're not running away, you're actually strategically regrouping the fight again. He got a few good kicks on that time. They must have seen it. Oh, and that down goes Nakano. But he's not hurt. Nakano was able to spin out of that hold just there. Yeah, he's a complete wrestler. It, uh, on the ground, he knows exactly what he's doing. As soon as he gets taken down, he's turning one move into another. It's like they use the lever fulcrum system. Uh, you know, some people have said, give me a lever and I can move the world. These guys do it. I mean, they just roll arm hold into leg hold into neck hold, and they spin one into the other. It's uh, an excellent scientific wrestling. Kanahara was able to kick his way out of that hole. Do the fans in Japan prefer more of an upright match as opposed to the on-the-mat Greco-Roman wrestling style? You tend to hear a little bit more uh, cheering when they're up because so the, those, those thunderous kicks are uh, very exciting. But they know when they go down to the floor that these guys aren't just wrestling. He got a knee to the head there, didn't he? Yeah. Didn't affect knocking out all. He picked him up and slammed him to the ground. You see, the thing is, when these guys go to the ground, they're not just trying to rest, uh, to rest. They're trying to get into a position for a submission hold. In other words, get something on a vulnerable joint of the body so that your opponent has to give up. At times, though, they do use it to rest it. Yeah, they will take a little bit, bit of a breather, but if you take too much of a breather, you gotta watch out, because the other guy will suddenly grab something and you're gone. You see now how quickly that happened in a couple of the mats, uh, matches previously. Yeah, you see Nakano's blood dripping down on Kanahara. He's trying to get the short arm bar. The short arm bar is one of the most deadly. That's when you pull the guy's arm out and extend it at the elbow. And he had Kanehara in trouble. He had to escape from it. Once that move is put on properly, there's no getting out of it. You, you, you lose the fight. So it's one of the favorite wrestling submission holes. Well, despite his slow start, Nakano has forced Kanehara to lose several points. Right, and he's coming on now, showing some kicks. He's bleeding pretty profuse. Boy, that was a fast kick to the, to the head, but he ducked it in time. Once again, Nakano catches a kick, and he answers back. Oh, right to the nose of Kanahara. That was a knee, wasn't it? Well, I think he got that knee in real good face. Is that a knockdown? That's a knockdown. He'll lose three points, and they're counting it. Looks like Nakano caught the knee to the head, but it's the other way around. Now Nakano's moving in. I told you this boy wakes up after, uh, after something like this happens. Now it looks like he's really coming after him. Takes one back in return. Takes oh, another right one there. in the head. But like I told you, he just stands there and takes him and keeps coming. And you know, if you've given a guy your, one of your best shots right to the head and he just looks at you and keeps coming, that's very, very debilitating. That'll sap a lot of the strength out of you right away. Would be a good move for Nakano here. 
He can't seem to get anything on. The other guy's in perfect condition. He's in perfect position. Uh, not gonna, I think what he wants to do is to catch one of those kicks or strikes and get the guy in a vulnerable extended position. On the ground right now, they're, they're, they're in pretty safe position right now. They are in the middle of the ring though, so it would be tough to reach a rope. Absolutely, so Nakano has him here. Now he got a sleeper hold on. He's trying to get the pressure underneath his chin. And Kanehara is moving for the ropes because he can see that setup coming. And you see the foot. You see right. the foot of Kanehara. So they stop the action and they'll get up and fight again. What does the sleeper hold do? Cuts the wind off uh, to you and then will knock you out. Because you just can't breathe. <laughs> Oh, right on the shoulder of Nakano. Which is not what he tried to do. He wanted to actually have him land flat on his back and drive the wind out of his Look head. at Nakano just coming right back. With the knees again, he caught him with a third knee to the head, right through his arms. Your arms can't block that. Your arms aren't strong enough uh, to block a knee, so he just went right through the arms. Knocked him down again. And you can be knocked out. Yes. You can't get up the count of 10. That's all she wrote. Kanehara is in trouble. Got another sleeper, sleeper hold. hold. And now he's extending an arm on him. That's it. I, I don't think he's going to be able to get out of this. He gets That's the it. You see how he got the pressure on the arm when he extended over his shoulder. So it's it, it's a it's a variation of the short arm bar. And that's it. Once that arm is extended, it either gets broken or you give up. In this case, he gave up. That's Nakano. Hey, you mentioned he is a slow starter, but boy, he wins by submission. And despite the blood, he was just all over Kanahara. Well, I told you, it takes a little while to get him go, but uh, get him going. But he showed his uh, his ability, he showed his stamina and his experience. It took him a little while, but he got through to Kanahara, who was also starting to uh, show that he was losing his power because uh, I think he lost his wind on a couple of those moves, and it caught up to him. There's the submission hold. That's right, he put his head against the uh, wrist and bent the uh, elbow against the joint. 